Lagos socialite and business mogul Shiv Razak Akoni Okoya host legal military justice Adishola Ogutadi to a classic reception on his appointment as Nigeria High Commission to UK. Shiv Razak Akoni Okoya has never been known to the things at half mentioned. So it was not surprising when he went the whole hog in hosting his bosom friend and retired Supreme Court of Nigeria judge, Justice Adishola Ogmutadi, to a reception party on his appointment as the Nigeria High Commissioner to the United Kingdom, Britain, at his Platia mansion, the upscale Oluwani Shola Estate, Ajarud, Victoria Island, Lagos. On hand to facilitate with the great man of accomplishment and proven integrity, where the cream de la cream of the Lagos and Nigeria High Society would troop out to celebrate one of their own and a great son of Nigeria, who is poised to serve our dear nation yet again in the highly demanding and intricate field of international diplomacy. Given the position the United Kingdom occupies in the Nigerian Foreign Service, and as Nigerian former colonial master, it is not in doubt that the President Muhammad Buhari led administration known for its exciting standard for the integrity and probity oaths. This legal luminary in high esteem for him to be trusted with this de delicate assignment. supposed to propose a toast of is somebody who I just could not refuse. Amen. Yeelisa of Lagos, Dukwe Vuntari. He's going now out as His Excellency Justice Chief Oguntari. But I want to, I'll hide from you what he probably will return as. Justice Oguntari was born on the 10th of March, 1940. He started school at St. Michael's School, Equerre, in 1946. He proceeded to Ijewodi Grammar School in 1953, where I first met him 64 years ago. He left in 1958 and worked as a court clerk between 1958 and 1961, during which he was bitten by the legal bug. He proceeded to the UK and studied law at the University of London, obtaining an NLP for, from the Holborn College of Law. He was, at the man, he was at the mandatory law school as he's on his return between 1965 and 1966. He entered private legal practice, 1966 to 1980. In 1980, he was elevated to the bench and went through the following positions. Judge High Court of Lagos, Judge Court of Appeal of the Battle of 1993 to 95, Judge, Presiding Judge of Appeal Judge 95 to 98, Presiding Judge Abuja 2003 to 2004, Justice of the Supreme Court 2004 to 2010. In the US several papers, I will not bother you with. 
because they are quite impressive. So if you will, if you will adopt and summarize by saying some of them are judiciary, some have to do with corruption, some have to do with public governance, some have to do with electionary process in Africa. And the law, the national development, and so on. His Excellency Justice Obidadi did not confine himself to involvement in the legalities of life. He was also a social figure as well as a religious person. He belonged to the Rotary Club, he belonged to the Yoga Tennis Club, Motorboat Club, the Island Club, Ikoi Club. And on the religious front, he was Chancellor of the Anglican Commission, Church of Nigeria, 1992, um, and um, Chairman, and, sorry, Chancellor of the Anglican Commission, Diocese of Lagos, 1999 to date. He was honored by his country with the honor Commander of the Nigeria in 2005, Commander of the Federal Republic in 2010. To cap his legal achievements, he was awarded Fellow of the International Court, sorry, Fellow of the Chartered Institute of Arbitrators of the UK, Nigeria Chapter, Fellow Nigeria Institute of Advanced Legal Studies, member of the World Jewish Association. To cap it all, now he has been appointed as Nigeria's High Commissioner to the United Kingdom, a country which used to be our colonial master. It's a very, very sensitive position, and I want to assure Nigeria they have a very qualified man to fill that position.